Hi everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from a topic called Mechanical Properties of Solids. The problem is like this. We need to find the elongation in a wire where mass of the wire is given to us and the radius of the wire is given to us. There is no information regarding the length and a constant force is acting on that wire. So, you know, elongation along the length is measured in terms of Hanks modulus. We know that Hanks modulus is defined as ratio of longitudinal stress to that of the longitudinal strain. So Hanks modulus y equal to longitudinal stress is force by area. Longitudinal strain is delta L by L. So rearranging the terms F into L by A into delta L. I need to calculate delta L. So let me write an equation for delta L as force into length by area of cross section and y. Now look at the data. There is a wire. on whom a constant force is applied mass of the wire is given to us radius of the wire is given to us length not given to us so if i have to solve the problem i shall eliminate the length that is there in the equation how can i eliminate simply i need to write it in terms of mass i will take the definition of density of the material you know density equal to mass of the wire by volume of the wire volume i can further write as area of cross section into length for a given material density is constant so i can write length as mass by some area of cross section into constant i will put it in the above equation so i will get delta l as f applied force which is constant in the place of m l mass by area of cross section and constant and divided by area of cross section and angst modulus if i look at the data applied force is constant this is already constant angst modulus for a given wire is anyway constant so rearranging the terms You can write delta L is directly proportional to mass, inversely proportional to area square. Directly proportional to mass. Assuming area of cross section is circular, I can write area S by R square and whole square. Then I can write delta L is directly proportional to M by R power 4. So if I have taken a wire whose mass is known for you and the radius of the wire is known for you i can use this relation if suppose somebody say i have taken two wires of radius same obviously being the length is different mass different in that case I can write delta L directly proportional to M itself. That means a heavy wire expands more and a light wire expands less, provided there is no information given regarding the length. If suppose information is given regarding the length as well as the say mass, then the scenario will be quite different. I have discussed it in the previous video lesson. But anyway, just to get an understanding, I can write again. Say for example, if area is not given, I can write area as mass by length and constant. I can write this in this place of area. Then I will get delta L as. If assume length is given, 
no information is given regarding area in the place of area m by l k and of course y is there so f l square k by m y so force is constant k is constant means modulus is constant then i can write delta l directly proportional to l square by m this is what i want you to observe a little carefully if information is given in terms of the length increase in the length is inversely proportional to mass if information is given in terms of mass and radius it is directly proportional to mass and inversely proportional to r power 4 this anyway we have done another question in a another video in the same playlist please go through thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you